All right. So if you weren't, uh, if you've been living under a rock, which actually I have friends who I think do live under rocks, and uh, and they still were texting me this weekend about the rock. And we have never ever talked wrestling. These people that were texting me, but they've all heard that wrestling fans is what they said. Why are wrestling fans mad at the rock? Well, here's what happened. If this is what they're hearing about pro wrestling right now, I want you to talk to your friends at a little bit of a deeper level, okay? Promise me that. So, this Friday was supposed to be a face-to-face with Roman and Cody. And Roman comes down to the ring, and he does this big speech where he buries Seth Rollins. Talks about how he's got a secondary title. Should be called the loser bracket title. Said, look at Seth's name, no pop. <laughs> says, this guy talks about being a workhorse, he can't even walk. And he says, yeah, I work less than you. I make ten times more than you. I still make ten times more than you. Do you value Seth money or tribal chief money, he says. Cody, you're an idiot. You don't care about money. And listen, I'm not going to come here and beg like that other guy. If you can, You can either be the best number two or you can take a crack at number one again. So Cody comes out. Place goes nuts. He says he wants a private conversation with Roman, so the bloodline leaves. And he says, I talked to friends, family, legends. You cheated me, he said. Seth made a lot of great points, but I do not agree when he called this the Hollywood title. That is the belt, he says, that Bruno held. The belt that was put in my father's hands at MSG and taken away. I still want that title, he says. Let me ask you, what is finishing the story? I heard you say all of this was yours. The ring, the canvas, all these fans. He says, is finishing the story taking that title from you? Or is it taking everything from you? Let me make this clear. I want that title. I'm moving my own goalpost. I am coming for it. I am coming for you. But not at WrestleMania. I took counsel. And one of the people I talk to, you know very well. And I mean, to be fair, this, this, these people in this building on SmackDown, my God, they went nuts for the surprise return of The Rock. And The Rock got in the ring. He shook Cody's hand. They hugged. And Cody left. And they show the long shot of Cody in the aisle. And he looks back. And he nods. And then The Rock and Roman Reigns had a stare down. And the crowd chanted something that got bleeped. And uh, that was the end of the show. Now, there's a lot we can talk about here. And then Cody Rhodes walked to the back and had himself a nice cocktail. Here's the thing, okay? It's not just... It's not just that Cody won the Royal Rumble... And then stepped aside for The Rock, okay? You realize that during the entire lead-up to the Royal Rumble, they spent weeks talking about how not only did he want to win the Rumble, but he was the first guy in a generation to win two Rumbles back-to-back. And he did. He won two Rumbles back-to-back. And then he had to step away. Now, this from the front page of WrestlingObserver.com comes from Observer Radio with Dave. The deal for The Rock to face Roman Reigns at WrestleMania was made weeks before Cody Rhodes won the Rumble. The Rock was appointed to the TKO Board of Directors last month. Part of the deal, he was given full ownership of The Rock name, as well as $30 million in company stock. Dave noted The Rock wrestling Reigns at WrestleMania was part of the agreement. When he made the deal on January 3rd to come in, wrestling Roman at WrestleMania was part of the deal. Why Cody won the Rumble is a question I cannot answer because nobody will answer it for me. Outside of Nick Khan, Ari Emanuel, very few people of any were made aware that a deal had been made for Rock to face Reigns at WrestleMania. The belief backstage at the Royal Rumble was that it would be Rhodes versus Reigns. Now, of course, here's the thing with wrestling today. This is why I wish I hadn't been here today. We don't know what's going on, okay? And a lot of you think you know what's going on. But we don't know what's going on, okay? 
a lot of you, I've noticed on the chat here, because you don't like WWE and you don't like Triple H, you think that this is the plan from day one. To have Cody win knowing he wasn't going to go there and do this. That might be the case. It also might not be the case. It is possible that nobody knew until a couple of days ago. Okay? Now, here's another thing. No, you guys don't get it. The deal was made, and it said very clearly here, outside of Nick Khan and Ari Emanuel, very few people, if any, were aware that this deal had been made. So we know, well, this is what we know. We know Rock, Ari Emanuel, and Nick Khan. I know that people are going to go nuts and go, oh, here you go again, Brian. But listen, the fact of the matter is, we don't know if Cody knew, and we don't know if Triple H knew. We just don't. So until we know, I don't know, man. Now, here's the other thing. This is what we also, and this is another thing that people have decided is true, but we actually don't know. They have decided that this must have been done to take heat off the Vince McMahon story and the allegations. Okay? Wayne washing is what it is. I do not believe that at all. Okay? I do a little bit. No, I'm going to tell you why. Okay, good. I think that the timing has less to do with Vince and more to do with they need to make this decision before this coming Sunday. Because this Sunday is the Super Bowl, okay? And what they're going to do on the Super Bowl, which is going to be watched by 10 billion people, is they're having all of the WWE stars, not everyone in the entire roster, but they're having everybody down there, and they're going to be asking all the players, who do you think is going to win at WrestleMania? This is their big promotion for WrestleMania this year. And they're not going to go on Sunday and go, who do you think is going to win, Rock or, or, or Roman Reigns or Cody? And then after they do all of this promotion on the Super Bowl, then announce on the following SmackDown, you know what, actually that Cody guy is not in the match. It's going to be The Rock. They want to ask about The Rock and Roman Reigns. This had to be done prior to Sunday. Now, are they probably happy that everybody is talking about this and not Vince? I'm sure they're thrilled. Brian. But I do not believe that that is why this was done at this time. Brian. Yeah. What day did Dave say that all of this started rolling into effect? It was January 3rd. No, he said done. that's when the agreement was made. Okay, so right with there. With The out. Rock, right there, Ari, okay. Stop there. and Nick Khan. You don't, okay, that's all I need to know. So you would figure then in December, at, at, the very, at the very least, in December, this was being talked about then, right? I mean, I'm sure they were negotiating, sure. I just, it is, it's something else. It really is something else. And it would be kind of like just the same thing continuing to happen under a new regime where a decision is made by somebody corporately that affects creative, that you're going into your second biggest event of the year, the thing that is going to kickstart you into your biggest event of the year, where you're going to be going to Las Vegas and asking National Football League players, who do you think's gonna win? Why then? Why then with Cody at the Royal Rumble, other than to say, well, he's won two in a row, but this whole, you, you gave everybody a year on this and, and people gave you grace. And you have now gone on with this, and it looked like it was going to be him, and then you pull that away. And not only do you pull that away on SmackDown, you completely emasculate Seth Rollins, the title, and Cody Rhodes all in one fell swoop with the promos that Roman laid out there and the way that the whole thing went. I mean, I got a lot more questions about a lot of this stuff too, but I'm sure we'll get into it as the show goes on. Hey guys, did you love this clip? If so, you should join our channel. Just hit the join button and you'll have full access to every single show that we do. Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show, all of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows. Click join today and don't miss out.